In this lesson, we are going to implement sign-in screen. If you check the final version of JS Amazona and click on sign-in, you will have form like this and you can enter your email address and click on sign-in. Also, there is a link for new user to create a new account. In this lesson, we're gonna build sign-in form and it's just about the UI and styling and for next lesson, we will implement the sign-in button to send requests to the server to authenticate user. Let's get to code. Open VS Code. And here is the plan. Create sign-in screen, render email and password fields, and then style them. Click on Explorer and inside front-end SRC screen, it's time to add sign-in screen new file, set file name to sign in screen.js. Inside this screen, we are going to create render method const sign in a screen equal to an object that contains two function. The first one is after render and second one is the render itself. Inside render function, I'm going to return a form. But first of all, let's create a container for that form. Dev and set class to form container and close it. Inside form container, let's create a form and set ID of this form to sign in form. We will get access to that in the after rendered method to put an event for submit close it inside form i'm going to have a bunch of fields for example email password and button let's create a ul and set class of this ul to form items and close it the first item in the form is sign in title create h1 and set the title of this form to sign dash in and close it and close the ally the next item should be email because we are going to get user email ally put a label set label for email we need to create an id for the input box with email and email close the label after it it's time to create an input the type of input is email and the name of it is email2 and the ID is email. Close it. Good. It's time to go for the next one. The next one is for sure password. Create label and set for to password and set it to password. Close label and create input set type of input to password name to password and id to password and close it close the ally so we just created email and password and it's time to go for a button the sign in button ally inside that put a button set type to submit and set class of it to primary we're gonna create a primary button to create gold background for it sign sign and and close the button great close ally and it's time to create a link for new user to create a new account so ally inside ally create a div inside div ask user new user question mark and if they are new there should be a link and the link is register page and the title of this link should be create your account close the anchor and close the div and close the li great we just implemented the render function for signing and it's time to export that. Export default, 
sign in a screen. As you see, we just created sign in a screen and it's time to go to index.js to use that. In the route section, we're gonna add slash sign in to sign in a screen. Select this one, press tab to import it automatically. After that, it's time to check the result. Let's open here and click on sign in. You see this form, but it's not exactly like what we want to have. Let's add some style to convert this form to this one. Go to code and open style.css and at the very end of this style, put a comment for form. The first style is for form container and it should be display flex because we are going to put a box in the center of a screen vertically and horizontally. Justify content center and align items to center too. Also set height to full height, 100%. Let's see what we have. Aha, uh -huh. you see this time the form is gonna be centered vertically and horizontally. Let's go for the next style. It's time to add a style for form items, ul form items dot for items equal to set display to flex because we are going to put label and set flex direction to column. We're gonna put label and input box in separate lines. Set width to let's say 32 rem and create a padding around it. Set it like 2 rem and it's time to create a border around that. The width of border is gonna be one pixel and the color is gray and the style is solid and a border radius like 0 0.5 rem. The last style is list the style type to noun. We're not gonna have bullet point for this UL. Let's check the result. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. We're gonna get close to the final style. Okay, let's go for next for LIs inside form items. We're gonna set display to flex and set flex direction to column, set margin button to one rim and margin top to one rim two. We're gonna put a space between items. Let's check the result. Aha. Uh -huh. They are very close to each other and it's time to make this a bit small. Dot form container h1 set font size 2.5 rem and it's time to style input boxes let's go for them at the very top of the style.css yeah right here for button as you see uh, we have a style for button i'm going to make input like button put input comma and also for hover input column hover comma but if you check there is a cursor to pointer we're not gonna have it for input cut it from here and above that put button and set cursor to pointer only for button let's check the result good compare the final one with this one so close to each other Let's fix create your account link. If you go to sign in a screen and in the H ref, I need to put R here, H ref. And then it should work. If you click on it, you will be redirected to register a screen that we will implement that later. Great. In this lesson, we implemented the UI of sign in a screen. And for next lesson, we want to attach an event to sign in when user click on it. The user and password should be sent to backend to authenticate and a response will be given to the user. Until that lesson, bye-bye.